Blender for Noobs. Hello, this is Dan Nobles, and welcome to Blender for Noobs. This is part two of our zombie tutorial, and in this video tutorial, we're going to be looking at bringing in, importing the zombie that we created from Make Human, and starting to change a little bit of uh, the model itself in Blender. So let's go ahead and get started. In order to import the uh, character from Make Human, we need to import the MHX Make Human format. So if you look under your import, you won't see it here. In order to get that, what you need to do is go to your user preferences and then go to make sure you're under add-ons here. And then you can go to import export and just scroll down a little bit here. And you'll see this MHX format, make human, and you just want to check that. And then you can close this. Now, if you want this uh, plugin to come into Blender every single time, you can do a save user settings here, and that'll cause it to come in every, every single time. So once you've done that, go up to File, and under your import, import, you'll see the Make Human Format. Go ahead and select that. And then you'll need to find the file that you exported out of Make Human. Now what I've done is I've taken the uh, files that I've exported out of Make Human and I put them in my normal uh, Blender folders just because I, I want to have everything in one place. But as long as you remember, you know, where your files are, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter where you have it, just as long as you know the location. So once you have the location, and we're going to go ahead and click on the zombie MHX and import. And as you can see, that brought the zombie right in with the clothes and everything. It's got its armature. It's got the face panel where you can uh, change the face expressions and a lot of good information here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this cube and just X delete it. Just get it out of the way. And so now we're free to go ahead and start doing some work on our zombie. The first thing that I want to do is start to work on the clothes. As you can see they don't come in quite right so we need to do some work there. And one of the things that you'll also notice is this general costume that comes in that we chose in uh, Make Human has a t-shirt, this blue part under here, so I'm going to select that. I don't want the t-shirt at all, so I'm just going to X delete it. If you'd rather your zombie just have the t-shirt, that's fine. You can uh, delete the long sleeve shirt and keep the t-shirt. So once we have that, I'm going to select the shirt, tab into edit mode, and I'm going to come down here, choose faces, and I'm going to fix some of this, these um, pieces that are sticking out, or, or the, where the skin's sticking out. Now we are going to modify the shirt, so you are going to see some skin, but what I want to do first is get the clothes more correct, and then we'll mess them up. So the easiest way to do this that I found is just go to your proportional editing down here, and choose enable and I'm gonna go ahead and turn on occlude so that we're only selecting things right on the surface that we see and if you select a face and then then hit G for grab on your keyboard you'll see this circle or you should should see the circle this is the proportional editing and I'm just gonna move this down with my middle mouse button to something about that size so now when I uh, choose to move it, it's affecting that area around it, which is, makes editing these clothes a lot easier. So I'm just going to start selecting some faces and just basically kind of fixing these areas that are not looking quite right. And the back areas probably got the worst, so let's start pulling this stuff out. And you'll notice when I'm uh, when I'm editing this. Depending on where I'm editing, I'll either be pulling it out along the, the uh, Y or X or Z. 
In other words, if it's on top right here, of course I'm going to be pulling it up and on the side over here, out that way, over here, pull along the x-axis. Kind of makes sense, I guess, but just, just in case somebody's kind of curious. Okay, so I'm not going to take your, you know, all your time editing these. I think you probably, probably can get the idea of what I'm doing here. Let me show you a little bit more on the pants side here. Oops, I think I actually chose the model there. Didn't mean to. Okay, there's the pants. So in some cases, both Y and X. On the pants, I won't be really using, a, won't be moving them along the Z axis at all. Okay, so what you would go, what, what what you would do is go along and fix all of this so that it's looking correct, and you can actually leave some spaces like um, in the shirt. You can leave some holes if you like some, you know, you want to have some skin showing there, and that's exactly what we're going to do. What you don't want to do is probably leave something like this where it doesn't make any sense that there wouldn't be any clothes there, because if there wasn't his pants would probably fall down. I mean, we don't need no naked zombies running around. They're bad enough looking as they are. Okay, so once you got that finished, then what we're going to do is I'm going to select and work on the shirt first. And I want the shirt to be open because I want to show his you know ugly zombie looking skin or zombie chest or whatever. So easiest way to do this Instead of trying to pull all this geometry out, let me go ahead and turn off proportional editing here, disable, is I'm going to alt click on these faces and you can see that's going to select that whole row there, X, delete faces. On the other side, same thing, alt click, X, delete faces, X, delete faces. And you can do as much as that or as little as you want just to show some of the zombie skin. You know, his shirt's kind of got unbuttoned and it's torn open. And then once that's done, I'm going to use the C tool to select. And I'm going to mouse wheel this down a little bit. And I'm going to just like kind of make a, a hole in the shirt here. Uh, X delete faces. And kind of probably on the arm also and when you do this if you don't want to be selecting the entire side of the you know all the faces on the back too make sure that you have a clue turned on like I do here and just turn uh, do X faces delete that so he's missing some missing some of the shirt there and I'm going to come back here, make this kind of small. And I'm just going to kind of drag this down. And what this is going to do is hopefully kind of make his shirt look like it's kind of shredded. X delete faces. Something like that. And of course you can make some holes in the back too if you want. And the pants, just pretend that I fixed all this already. But what we're going to do on the pants is tab back into object mode and select the pants. Tab back into edit mode and C select. And I just want to select maybe around the kneecap. You know, this part right here has gotten cut away or whatever. And um, I'm going to go down here, C, and just rip out some of that those jeans there. And you just want to make sure that you don't have something weird like, you know, just one piece of cloth down here because that wouldn't make any sense. 
Okay, so, and probably, oops, tab back into this. X delete faces, X delete faces, just to give him, you know, a more tattered look. And of course, you can even like, if you want to, just turn off occlude, and we can kind of rip. most of this shirt sleeve off right here tab out of that okay so there's his basic clothes I mean we can go on and make it a little bit better if you want to spend some time on it but I'm gonna leave that for now and now let's look at his expression because right now he just looks sort of like a normal person I mean doesn't really look too zombie-ish so we're going to hit our N key, come over to this menu, and scroll down here. And in Make Human, you'll see some options that are here. And the reason these options are here are those options that we selected when we exported from Make Human. So if you didn't export those ones that I said to check, then you won't have these. But what we want to do is we want to go to the MHX Expression Tuning. Scroll down. So now you have some of these uh, settings that you can play around with. The mouth, the eyes, whatever. And the eyes left and right are not left and right eyes. They are, I mean, normally on a person, if you think of left and right eye, this would actually be his right eye and this would be his left eye. But since we are looking at this character, this is the left eye and that is the right eye. That's, that's the way this is set up. So I'm going to change the, uh, well I'm going to change both of them, but I'm going to change the right eye first. And that just opens and closes, closes it. So I want, let's see if this is the one. You can make it kind of slitted, but that's not what I want. Here we go. I want the eyebrows and just want to pull that up. Actually, I think these go from 0 to 1, so I'm just going to choose 1 there. Fix my numpad here. And no, I didn't want that. Eyebrows, 1. And that was the left one. Eyebrows right. Make that kind of one, give him kind of more of a mean, angry look. And we want to come down to the mouth open. And I'm just going to pull that open a little bit. Maybe something like that. And then you want to go to the mouth, let's see, elevation, aversion. I think we want elevation. And just pull that up a little bit, show some teeth. And you can do some other stuff here, like you may want to make one eye kind of close more than the other one. And you can play around with these settings as much as you want to make the zombie look more zombie-ish. But I think that's all I'm going to do with my expressions. I'm going to hit N to get rid of that menu there. And the next thing you want to do is select the model, go over to the modifiers, and by default, it uses the armature modifier and also the subsurface. And right now, the view is set on zero, which is fine. But I'm also going to set the render on zero. And the reason is, is because, say if we bump up the, the view, you can kind of see a difference in the render. I don't want the zombie to look more smooth. I want, to look, I want it to look more rough, which is kind of good for us because it's going to use uh, less geometry that way. So just make sure both your view and render is on zero. And so now we have our basic setup for our zombie. So just to get an idea of what the zombie's looking like right now, I'm going to grab my camera there. If you don't have a camera, of course, you can do a Shift A and add a camera. And I'm going to come over to another window here and just do a Control Zero so I can see what the camera's seeing. Come back over to this view. And I'm going to do a 7. Just pull this back and kind of rotate it to a view that I want it to be. And 
I'm coming back over to this window and just G moving the camera. Just to get kind of a view of what he's going to look like. And we do need some light. Um, let's see what this lamp is doing. One hundred. That's probably quite too much. I'm just going to make this three, and that is a point. Let's make it a sun, and go into three side view, and let's kind of move it over that way. All right, and I'm going to do an F12 render. See what he looks like. Okay, so there's our basic zombie after we've done a little bit of work in Blender. Um, as you can see, we have no textures whatsoever. So in the next part, what we're going to be doing is actually bringing in our textures and texturing the zombie. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next part of the zombie tutorial.